The show time to close indicator is provided for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and run the program. Also, traders can own this page to know how the indicator works. From the Navigator section, we select the indicator file and run the indicator by dragging the file onto the chart. Just make sure to pay attention to the common section and activate the Allow DLL Imports option and then click the OK button. With the indicator activated, a display appears on the chart showing the closing time of the candle in the upper left corner, indicating that we are currently in the one hour time frame and that the current candle will close in about 17 minutes in the settings. In the input section, there are options for us, the first of which relates to the display position, which is set by default at the top left, and you can also place it at the top right. The next section relates to the display color, which is currently blue, and you can change it to your desired color. The last section is the indicator's template, which has four parts, auto, light, dark, and custom. By selecting the auto option, only the colors of the candles change, with profitable candles turning bright green and losing candles turning bright red. By selecting the light option, a light template is applied to the chart, which is the template I have on my chart. By selecting the dark option, a dark template is chosen. And finally, by selecting the custom option, it retains your customized template and only runs the indicator on the chart. Here, I choose the dark template, change the display color to red, and place the display at the top right. And then I click on confirm. Here, my template has changed to dark. My display shows red and indicates that there are 16 minutes left until the candle closes. Well, friends, we have reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would be happy if you share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.